We're all hoping, searching for the meaning. A husband said he's found it in his wife. Children rather spend their time out playing than worrying about the meaning of life. You will never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. Do you know a cure for me? Why, yes, he said. I know a cure for everything. Salt water. Salt water, I asked him. Yes, he said, in one way or the other. Sweat or tears or the salt sea. Purpose of life is to stay alive. Watch any animal in nature. All it tries to do is to stay alive. It doesn't care about beliefs or philosophy. Whenever any animal's behavior puts it out of touch with the reality of its existence, it becomes extinct. Life has a meaning, but do not set out to find out. Just live it out. Life has no meaning. Each of us has meaning and we bring it to life. It is a waste to be asking the question when you are the answer. Learn to light a candle in the darkest moments of someone's life. Be the light that helps others see. It is what gives life its deepest significance. Friends are the family you choose. The human race is a monotonous affair. Most people spend the greatest part of their time working in order to live. And what little freedom remains fills them with fear. So they seek out any and every means to be rid of it. It does not matter how long you are spending on the earth how much money you have gathered, or how much attention you have received, it is the amount of positive vibration you have radiated in life that matters. Prime numbers are what's left when you have taken all the patterns away. Think prime numbers are like life. They are very logical, but you could never work out the rules, even if you spend all your time thinking about them. There is not one big cosmic meaning for all. There is only the meaning we give to our life, an individual meaning. An individual plot, like an individual novel, a book for each person. Life is problems. Living is solving problems. If there is meaning in life at all, then there must be meaning in suffering. To be what we are and to become what we are capable of becoming is the only end of life. The problem for us is not are our desires satisfied or not. The problem is how do we know what we desire? Plato says the unexamined life is not worth living, but what if the examined life turns out to be a clunker as well? The secret to life is meaningless unless you discover it yourself. I believe that I am not responsible for the meaningfulness or the meaninglessness of life, but that I am responsible for what I do with the life I've got. Life has to be given a meaning because of the obvious fact that it has no meaning. Whenever you become anxious or stressed, outer purpose has taken over and you lost sight of your inner purpose. You have forgotten that your state of consciousness is primary, all else secondary. The ultimate answer to life, the universe and everything, is 42. When you don't know what you're living for, you don't care how you live from one day to the next. You're happy the day has passed and the night has come, and in your sleep you bury the tedious question of what you've lived for that day and what you're going to live for tomorrow. Only when you accept that one day you'll die can you let go and make the best out of life. And that's the big secret. That's the miracle. I don't know the meaning of life. I don't know why we are here. I think life is full of anxieties and fears and tears. It has a lot of grief in it and it can be very grim. And I do not want to be the one who tries to tell somebody else what life is all about. To me, it's a complete mystery. I'm starting to think that this world is just a place for us to learn that we need each other more than we want to admit. Life is meaningless. When we take a life, we take nothing of value. A life of short duration could be so rich in joy and love that it could contain more meaning than a life lasting 80 years. You discarded most of the lies along the way but you held on to the one that said life matters. In order to lead a meaningful life, you need to cherish others, 
pay attention to human values, and try to cultivate inner peace. To think what is true, to sense what is beautiful, and to want what is good, hereby the spirit finds purpose of a life in reason. The only purpose of our lives consists in waking each other up and being there for each other. Life is a fairy tale. Live it with wonder and amazement. We're on this planet for too short a time, and at the end of the day, what's more important? Knowing that a few meaningless figures balanced, or knowing that you were the person you wanted to be? We think we can make honey without sharing the fate of bees, but we are in truth nothing but poor bees, destined to accomplish our task and then die. Everyone now knows how to find the meaning of life within himself. The artist lives to have stories to tell and to learn to tell them well. The end is not the reward, the path you take, the emotions that course through you as you grasp life, that is the reward. Philosophers can debate the meaning of life, but you need a Lord who can declare the meaning of life. So you want to know the truth about the universe, about the meaning of life, and about your own identity? The best place to start is by observing suffering and exploring what it is. The answer isn't a story. The greatest creative power you have on earth, whether you are an angel, a spirit, a man, or a woman or child, is to help others. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written, in writing what deserves to be read, and in living as to make the world a happier and better for our living in it. Be a lover of the world. It is the only way to survive in it. The earth is not just for the clever and the strong. I suppose what I really am is restless. I want to go everywhere, see everything, do everything. I want to find something. Yes, that's it. I want to find something. Sooner or later on this journey, every traveler faces the same question. Are you a human intending to be a god, or a god pretending to be a human? You know full well the meaning of life is to find your gift. To find your gift is happiness. Never to find it is misery. Each man must look to himself to teach him the meaning of life. This is not something to be discovered. It is something molded. We will die here and trust the meaning of our lives to the next generation. That is the sole way we can rebel against this cruel world. Inside every poor creature was a sense of some other happy destiny, a destiny that was necessary and inevitable. Why then did we find their lives such a burden, and why were they always waiting for something? To travel is to be alive, to get somewhere is to be dead. He has no need for faith, who knows the uncreated, who has cut off rebirth, who has destroyed any opportunity for good or evil, and cast away all desire. He is indeed the ultimate man. All religions are man-made. God has not yet revealed himself beyond doubt to anybody. No lifetime is long enough for those who wish to create, Raoul or for those who simply wish to understand themselves and their lives. It is perhaps the curse of human being, but also a blessing. Life, a meaningless thing, draped in some moments that can be given any title or definition. Anyone is capable of making a positive contribution to the world through simple observation, irrespective of circumstance. Human resources are like natural resources. They're often buried deep. You have to go looking for them. They're not just lying around on the surface. You have to create the circumstances where they show themselves. Anyone can get a job, but do you have a purpose? Art, the meaning of the pattern of our common actions in reality. The cloth of gold that hides behind the sackcloth of reality forced out by the pain of human memory. Why was this world created? As a sewer for the stars, a voice in front of him said, alternatively to know God and to glorify him forever. The two answers are not, of course, necessarily alternative. 
George. She says it's the truth that matters. We live and die for the chance to maybe tell a little bit of the truth, maybe shame the devil just a little bit before we go. Oh, gentlemen, perhaps I regard myself as an intelligent man only because throughout my entire life, I've never been able to start or finish anything. Granted, I'm a babbler, a harmless, irksome babbler, as we all are. But what's to be done if the sole and express purpose of every intelligent man is babble? That is, a deliberate pouring from empty into void. Human beings are so destructive, I sometimes think we're kind of a plague that will scrub the earth clean. We destroy things so well that I think maybe that's our function. Maybe every few eons, some animal comes along that kills off the rest of the world, clears the deck, and lets evolution proceed to its next phase. As soon as you look through the world through an ideology, you are finished. No reality fits an ideology. Life is beyond that. That is why people are always searching for a meaning to life. Meaning is only found when you go beyond meaning. Life only makes sense when you perceive it as a mystery, and it makes no sense to the conceptualizing mind. Even so, I'm somebody. I am the discoverer of nature. I am the argonaut of true sensation. I bring a new universe to the universe, because I bring the universe to itself. Deus Ex Machina not only erases all meaning and emotion, it's an insult to the audience. Each of us knows we must choose and act, for better or worse, to determine the meaning of our lives. Deus Ex Machina is an insult because it is a lie. The meaning of life aren't inherited. What is inherited is the mandate to make meanings of life by how we live. The endings of life give life's meaning a chance to show. The beginning of the end of our order, our way, is now in view. This isn't punishment any more than dying is a punishment for being born. Energy is what I believe all of us are. We are just conscious awareness dancing for itself for no other reason but to stay amused. All I wanted, and all Neil wanted, and all anybody wanted, was some kind of penetration into the heart of things where, like in a womb, we could curl up and sleep the ecstatic sleep that Burroughs was experiencing with the good mainline shot of M, and advertising executives in New York were experiencing with 12 Scots and sodas in Stouffer's before they made the drunkards train to Westchester but without hangovers. Why of things is very important. When I was a so t- young teens, I was quite depressed about the meaning of life, um, and I was trying to sort of understand the meaning of life, looking at reading religious texts and reading books on philosophy. And I, I got into the German philosophers, which is definitely not wise if you're a young teenager, I have to say. I ended up reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is actually a, a, a book on philosophy disguised as a, as a silly humor book. And uh, Adams uh, makes the point that it, it's actually the, the, the question that is harder than the answer. You know, he sort of makes a joke that the answer is 42. Um, that number does pop up a lot. Yeah, so I have a proposal for a, a worldview or a motivating philosophy, which is to understand what questions to ask about the answer that is the universe. And to the degree that we expand the scope and scale of consciousness, biological and digital, uh, we will be better able to ask these questions, to frame these questions, and to understand why we're here, how we got here, what, what the heck is going on. And so that, that is my driving philosophy, is to expand the scope and scale of consciousness that we may better understand the nature of the universe. Mm-hmm.